Kill of a minute ago, we were talking and we were talking about how do you make a person feel like they are wanted? How do you give them that confidence that this organization believes in them? And there's a lot of people around the league that have the answer, but they're not being given that answer. And it is give me my money. So let's <laughs> talk about obviously the biggest story out there because I mean, America's team, C.D. Lamb, mm. which I have to mention, he's from the University of Oklahoma. I'm going to say that a lot when you guys are listening to this show. He went to the University of Oklahoma, but whatever. What, what? Hey, what, what, what's with the Spider-Man, the black Spider-Man post that he posted? I don't, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get that cryptic well, I'm a superhero message. guy, if you couldn't tell. And uh, so the for all you non-nerds, <laughs> Give you a quick rundown of Spider-Man. You have Spider-Man and you have Venom. Well, Venom is a symbiote, an alien symbiote that got on uh, Spider-Man and it turned him into an evil Spider-Man. So oh. what happened is when that symbiote hit his suit, instead of being your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, he turned into a demon. Uh -oh. And he became the bad guy. So when, uh -oh. when he's I didn't know Spider-Man like that. So when he's we'll posting that and he got that mask on, he basically let you know, hey, nice CD Lamb is gone. Ooh. This is where we at now. So now yesterday's fight, price is not it's today. Not today's price. If you can argue, this is how I see it. I don't care what people say, because a lot of people think Jettis. Justin Jefferson is, some people say, is the best receiver in football. All right. There's a lot of different metrics you can measure. Tyreek's number one pretty good, player, too. The number one player voted by the players was Tyreek Hill. All mm -hmm. right. But Justin Jefferson makes the most. Okay. But CeeDee Lamb's Apparently, pretty good. Apparently, what what's being reported is they offering him, what, 33 a year, which is right under Justin mm. Jefferson. You can argue CeeDee Lamb was the best receiver in football last year. I agree with that. So what he's I'm saying is... I'm on that is, bandwagon, too. What he's saying is, forget all that. Uh-uh. We ain't doing that. Pay me my money. No. Yes. 33 is not enough. I want to be number one paid. I want to be number one. And CD has all the leverage. You know why? Because all the reports, people that I know... People that were there at training camp will tell you, without CD, that offense is very stagnant, and they don't know what's going to happen. From what mm. I'm hearing, when they went against the Rams in practice, when they got in the red zone, it was a bunch of nothing. And I <laughs> love, no, seriously, and I'm not going to talk noise, but I love Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks is my friend in real life. I love and Brandon Cooks. Cooks in the offseason. Flamboski. Yeah, me and Cooks trade in the offseason. I love Cooks. But Cooks is a complimentary guy. And he's I, a good I mean, number two. He's a really good number two. Like, if you got a guy and then you don't take account for Brandon Cooks, he will light you up. Yep. It's no he's knock going on over the top. It's no knock on Brandon Cooks. You bring in Zeke. Zeke is not the Zeke of old, but I think what the Cowboys realize is for leadership purposes and short yardage, those tough yards that we need to get on those third and shorts, maybe even support the shorts, we get in the red zone last year. They could score when they got in the red zone. The year before, they could because Zeke would come in and get those tough yards. Okay, bring Zeke back in. But you didn't bring him back in to be the focal point of the offense. So where does your offense come from? The CD guy you're Lamb. not paying. And I don't get why not. Okay, but then that leads to what about the quarterback? He wants to get paid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. By the way, there's a guy you can argue is the best defensive player in football. He's cool. going to want to get paid. But yeah. right now, your priority is to pay who our offense goes through. And it is CeeDee Lamb. I just and he don't deserves understand. that, especially after last year. I just don't understand what, what is going on over there. Yeah, I don't know. I'm at a loss of what direction they're going. Like, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be mean, rude, but it like, where is it? Like, is it Dak? Is it CD? Is it Parsons? I mean, I think about a guy like Demarcus Lawrence, who's been there and he's sacrificed his whole career, but ever since he was young, where are they going? Yeah. Like they're, 
Are they helping him? Are they helping Zach Martin, who's been all pro? Uh, First ballot Hall of Fame. Yeah. Like, he's just, he just is. Like, that that whole O-line, they had one of the best O-lines for a whole decade. Yeah. And they didn't get – I don't – they got into the NFC Championship once. Like – No. Uh, I don't – they didn't go. They, they didn't go. Been, they haven't been. They oh. haven't been. And here's the thing. You can argue that the Cowboys roster top to bottom for the last 10-ish years, 15 years, they don't fall out of top three as far as roster talent, Pro Bowl, yeah. all pros, guys who get the job done. The Cowboys always got guys. They always do. But this goes mm -hmm. back to their psyche. Okay, you're not paying Dak. You're not paying CD. How does Micah feel when it's time to get paid? Does he yeah. say, you know what? I don't even want to do this. I'm going to yeah. play my time out and I'm going to hit free agency. No, we're not negotiating. We're not doing none of that. I enjoyed my time as a cowboy, all of that. But So do you think CD forces a trade? I don't know if he forces a trade. Or More asks than, for a trade? He might ask for one, but that could be another leverage thing. You know, like, hey, y'all don't want me here. Get me out of here. Yeah. Get me out of here.